what's up everybody it's your girl b octavia and i am back with another video welcome to my channel if you are new my name is b octavia i am from washington dc and i'm also an entrepreneur my business links will be in the description below and let's jump right into the video now today's video will be rumor report number two and today's choice will be frank matthews and the rumors surrounding his disappearance in a previous video i talked about frank matthews's disappearance and my beliefs my belief is that frank matthews did want to disappear but was stopped in his tracks by whomever and frank matthews was killed alongside his young girlfriend especially the young girlfriend not making contact with her family it does raise my suspicion a lot a lot you know what i mean and from that video there has been certain rumors that trickle down into my comments that i want to talk to y'all about today a belief is different from a rumor to me a belief is stronger than a rumor because it's hard for it to be broken a rumor however can be debunked and it can be broken down to either not make sense or to be too much like a fairy tale the rumors that circulate pertaining to frank matthews's disappearance goes like this number one Frank Matthews had a face transplant and was totally unrecognizable, then came back to the U.S. Number two, Frank Matthews never lost contact with his family. All of the contact was under the radar. And number three, he went to Cuba to flee from U.S. extradition. So now this is the breakdown. Now, number one. Frank Matthews had a face transplant and then he came back to the U.S. Now this one, it seems to be more like a fairy tale to me because although he did have the money to do so, a person like Frank Matthews who I'm not going to say was egotistical in the wrong way or in a negative way, but he was very confident in his looks. I don't think that a person that used their looks as an asset in any type of way would change it, would alter it. I, I just don't. And just because you have the money to do it doesn't mean that it's an option for a man. That's number one. I mean, they said that John Dillinger did. He had a little plastic surgery, but he looked pretty much the same. So it didn't really do much back in that time. I don't know and also with this one it's like if he came back before 9-11 I would say okay but after 9-11 it's not happening it, it wasn't happening so in that regard maybe you could make that a uh, argument like if it was before 9-11 he's back in the u.s and people know and i mean the person that was telling me was trying to explain it to me like only certain people know and da -da -da, that's possible maybe but that's too much of a fairy tale to me number two Frank Matthews never lost contact with his family. It was done under the radar. Now, what this really said to me was, do y'all think the feds is stupid? Like, they got a high enough bounty on this man. They really don't want to pay nobody, so they are gonna try to find him as, as hard and as best as they can. They, they found Dillinger, didn't they? So I don't really think that after all of this technology development, etc., that the feds can't find nothing if there is something. Um, yes, family can, family can lie to the feds and say that they ain't talked to them when they have. They can say they ain't, he ain't send no money when he has. You know, 
um family does that especially when it's the head of the household we talking about so family could be that loyal his wife could be that loyal his sons could be that loyal but i just don't know after all this time on the police end that they can't find nothing if there is something and let's get into the last and final one now this one does sound plausible because frank matthews didn't have to manipulate how his face looked number one number two he had the means to do so and there is an example of i believe it's many people that have done this but one person that i was given as an example was tupac shakur's auntie and we will be getting into her her background and her story in another video but to sum it up she had help from fidel castro excuse me if i am saying his name wrong but she had help from him to come into cuba and stay there for the rest of her life and for the last 41 years she has been there untouched by the u.s even though even though she was facing a murder charge and was already sentenced so that is a really good example to give you some type of hope in rumor number three of that being possible but i always go back to him being stopped in his tracks midway or when he thought it was really going to get good it didn't based on him walking away from his family so in conclusion to frank matthews disappearance and the rumors surrounding his disappearance i think the third and last one is the most plausible if we are not going to go the route of saying that it was foul play he had the means and the funds to do so he had major connections all across the world so it wouldn't be surprising if he was able to pull this off although it would be sad to know that you gave up on being a father and especially a father that your children see on a day-to-day -day basis y'all lived in the same house to walk away from that it takes a lot of I guess it takes a lot of fear for you to be caught, you know, but in my eyes, it's an act of selfishness to leave your offspring because you're running from something that you did. Now, I do want to thank all of the viewers and I want to thank the people that drop what they feel in the comments even though i did label it as a rumor i don't mean to be disrespectful in doing that and i want to say thank you for opening my mind up a little bit more to the possibilities because sometimes when you strongly believe something like i said it's hard to break it and it's also so hard to change my mind and it's not like i have changed my mind but it, i'm more open-minded to think that him fleeing to cuba and getting help from them um is a huge possibility but you also got to remember that when you are confirming something within your mind you can't make excuses after that if we're gonna say he made it into cuba with his girlfriend and they've been chilling all this time he a deadbeat you know what i'm saying you can't make excuses like oh uh, you can't make excuses like, oh, he he never lost contact with his family, though. That ain't something that you know. Like, that ain't something that you know. That's something that you hope. And I will hope so, too, but it don't look that way. So, um, I'm the most open-minded to the third and last option. But I definitely want to hear what y'all think in the comments below. So, make sure that you get down there. Tell me if you more so believe number one, number two, or number three. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, it's your girl, B. Octavia, and I will see y'all in my next video. Um, 
I dropped about, or I'm dropping about four or five videos. It might be six this week. So make sure that you stay up to date. Ring that bell to be notified when I post. And I will see y'all then. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we almost at 7K. So thank you so much for coming back when you do. And showing love. Alright, I'll see y'all.